Hello everyone. Last time we were doing uh, doing the how to install ZAMP at the local server, and uh, I promise that we are going to do uh, the last the, the next class is going to be how to use the ZAMP at the local server, and that is actually the class that we're going to have today. Uh, I quoted in the last the CMS that we are going to use called WordPress, and the class for this we are going to understand how to install a WordPress, and the rest will do. It. So let's see what we have to start first uh, before you go to the next step so the first thing that you have to do you have to go and look for zamp go to your starting key click zamp that one then there will be a pop-up form the pop-up form will have the different uh, tag tags that's we have apache and mysql that's the main tag that we're going to use so the first thing that you have to do you start the first tag that is apache MySQL. MySQL in full is called Michael Query Language. This uh, this is a language for da for database actually. Uh, so the main reason we are using MySQL is for uh, anything that we are using. It must have a database. So uh, the MySQL is help us to store each database that we are going to have. So after that, after starting your your uh, your patch and MySQL, what you are going you good for your search engine whether you are using Chrome or Firefox. Firefox, then you look for localhost. In the local server you use the you the local server itself uh, like the the name of the database so the first thing that we are going to do we are going to create a database just go to new then click here give the database name so i'm going to give a database name like i can give it a name so which name i would like the first class i can give it class class let me use class dot wordpress dot wordpress dot org dot org enter so we wait for some you'll pop up in this uh, windows where you are going to see different links we have uh, case learn themes plugin mobile support and get involved about and another get get wordpress so click that get wordpress and down here we scroll down you will see another tab now here we have a different tab this download wordpress and download a uh, so we're going to download our WordPress. So this is the one we need. So it will be down here, it will be down here. So meanwhile, as we wait, I've already downloaded one, which is I think it is this one. We'll just copy it, copy it, and have it somewhere in my desktop. Have it in my desktop. It is here. Now, when you download a WordPress, it will come in a form of zipped form, right? So the first thing that you have to do, you have to create a folder, create a folder. new folder then unzip it in inside that folder and zip it uh -huh, desktop look for that folder that you have you have created uh it will be a new folder i think then this one new folder too say so, okay then unzip unzip the, the wordpress file file so we are waiting for it now here we are now you'll see it's open in a different folder now we zip it under the the new folder inside this then username remain root it has standard name so don't have your own things here then password should be nil then you install now run the installation just click run the installation like that now the title the title now you talk about the title of the the project maybe it's a, a school project now let's say a school school website i'm a school the system maybe let's say a school system a school system whatever you, any name you can give it any name don't worry i can just give it any name that you like now the second username the user that you will make to log into database or dashboard so you must be very keen so for our case it must be secure too when you're dealing with a real project so for our case i'll just give you a very simple name that maybe i can give it kevin's then the password i can just give any password i can say one two three four five six seven eight nine that's okay then i can just say info at info info at all rounded Take, run the take. Now I can discourage the 
this one and then install the WordPress. Now let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what we are for today. Uh, I don't think it's going to take for long. No, whatever we are doing, it doesn't need any internet. The only point that we need the internet is where we're going to download a WordPress because we call it a local server. So we do things offline. So you see, we already have the how the how we reinstall the WordPress. So in one or the other, we now this 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 is the dashboard. Now when I want to see the demo of my website, I can just go to localhost. Now I want to see the demo. And this site you can't see it anywhere from your computer. It will be just in my computer because it's been built here unless you transfer the file to your computer. So there's no way you can want to see this project plugin and have a real content website. So guys, see you next time.